I'm going to show you these Romas. They are all over the place. That's one plant, which one of them you can see is turning yellow. I don't know if you can see that yellow very well. That, that's not a, a glitch. That's aroma that's turning red in the middle of all these others. Each plant has at least um, 30 on it that are up here anyway. Now, um, some of the other plants, look at this one. This is one plant. All of these were the in the solo cups that you saw on the, the porch back uh, in February and March. And this group has a ton of there's going to be a ton of sauce made as long as we can keep it up. This one here in the bucket, it's as old as these on this side. These on this side are just now um, starting to put on flowers. I don't have any romas on the ones on this side yet because these are actually, well, I'll take that back. These are younger. These are the, the backups to my romas in case the ones that were on the other side didn't make it. So I actually had to make my little Roma patch a little bit bigger. But yeah, look at those in there. I started all of these from seed. Um, this one's probably going to drown if I don't dump all that water out. We have gotten a lot of banana peppers. Um, this one's getting pretty big. It's got a little bit of purple... Uh, striping on it there's some mixed in on the inside i love my container plants but i gotta tell you the containers are kind of tough to keep uh, empty if i want to keep water in i have to put the drain holes up a little bit so that the water doesn't leak out as soon as it pours in but when that happens it takes forever for um it to drain out whenever it rains really heavily like it's been for the past few days i'll show you my golden uh I don't remember what they're called. Sun something. What are they called? Sun sun sugars is almost ready. These things, no kidding, are so sugar sweet. The name does not betray them. They are, um, I don't know, more of a plum taste. So I wouldn't mix them into any recipes that, you know, you didn't want sweetened up. Because, I mean, they're, they're fruit sweet. This is the Arkansas Travelers from this end. And there's a bunch of them, and of course our butternut and pumpkin are down at the end of there. Um, this is jalapeno, which is now giving us some babies. They're growing in the shade. The leaves like the rain also. I mean, this thing is soaking up the water. There's a few, uh, I think those are bug bites, but it might have just gotten beat up before it flipped over. But this arch trellis is just awesome. This Marglobe tomato that's in this, um, it's a grow bag that was meant for potatoes. But I've got a ton of Crowder peas in it. And the tomato's just kind of out here. It's loving being in there with beans, I think.